Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University, and this is Chapter 4 of the Sisters of Eve Level 1 Epic Arc, The Bloodstained Stars. If you're looking for tips on how to handle the mission Burning Down the Hive, this is the correct episode, and I will be getting to it towards the end of the episode. So, I already accepted the mission to go from Kaldari Space back to Arnon, uh, so now we're going to talk to Sister Alatura. That completes the mission to come back to Arnon. <clears throat> Evacuate the food relief personnel from the area. You might get surprised by rogue drones. Stay on task, though. Let's click accept. And close. Double check my fitting. Alright, that's fine. Uh, my skill points are still covered by my clone grade alpha and I still have plenty of time left remaining on skill training all right all right let's undock One of the earlier missions that I filmed in this episode happened to take place at a point very far in front of the station. So very conveniently, that became an instant undock bookmark, though as you can see, it's not always instant. Sometimes you're still spending a second or two aligning your ship. Alright. Ah, there we go. There's the habitation module. Let's approach that. And it's 80 kilometers away, so let's turn on the micro warp drive. I'm going to switch to EMP and Mjolnir just in case, because rogue drones have started showing up. You're not required to kill them for the mission. If you want to, you may. I'm not going to waste your time because there's going to be a lot of rogue drones. But there are they do have bounties on their heads and there's probably good salvage uh, that you can get off of them afterwards, or at least a little bit of salvage. So if you need the money, killing the... I would rescue these guys first. And we'll stop. Boot all. So if you're interested in killing all these rogue drones... Let me make sure I'm clear of obstacles before I try to warp anywhere. Alright. So if you want to kill all these rogue drones, drop these guys off... Drop uh, these guys off in station. Do not turn in the mission. Warp back to the mission and start killing uh, to your heart's content. That way if your ship gets blown up, there isn't the chance that um, the food relief personnel you were supposed to rescue die in your wreckage. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Talk to Sister Alatura. Complete the mission. Go on to the next mission. And this is 
a courier mission. Uh, we're going to pick something up and bring it back to Arnon. This is a courier mission, four jumps away. You know how to set destination and add waypoint. You know how to jump through stargates. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time, so let's just skip ahead. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Just a quick reminder, of course, that you want to make sure your courier mission cargo is inside your ship's cargo hold before you undock. Let's skip the other four Stargate jumps. Docking permission requested. All right, docking back in Arnon, accepted. and I am docking. There's the encoded data transmission. Let's talk to Sister Alatura. And request the next mission. And you will be asked to make a choice between uh, tracking the queen or bag of blood. Uh, it doesn't matter which choice you make. Uh, it's just a little bit of flavor. No long-term consequences. Uh, so I'm going to go with bag of blood for this playthrough. Which starts off with another career mission. So I'm going to accept this choice. Uh, I need to pick up something at Atten, bring it back to Arnon. Once again, you know how to jump through Stargates. I'm not going to waste your time. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. I have the cargo. I'm going to complete the mission. Request the next mission. And we need to plant the fake body in an outpost. Any Serpentis skills are optional. Uh, so let's click accept. Drag Wolfbergen's body double into the cargo hold and undock. Now, for fighting, if you're going to shoot Serpentis, let's get the Phase Plasma and either the Scourge or Inferno. Wolfbergen's Body Double. This slab of biomass was once a blank slate waiting to be turned into a functioning clone for some capsuleer. With the help of an engineered virus and the sample you provided, the slab is now a DNA-perfect replication of Wolfbergen. Sure, it only looks like him if you squint really hard, but that's what explosions are for. Alright, let's approach the Wolfbergen hideout, run the micro warp drive. And a lot of them are trying to sensor dampen me. So I can no now only target out to 25 kilometers. Cut the micro warp drive. 7 kilometers, control space bar. Shove the body double in, and let's pull out. You know what, while I'm here, let me just save this as a safe spot for later use. All right, yeah, mission is complete, so let's get out of here.
Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, complete that mission and request the next mission. Uh, track the drone with the help of Wolf Bergen. Well, that's on dock. Okay, yeah, this instant undock bookmark is not quite in front of the station. So in some cases, I'm still spending an extra second or two aligning my ship to warp. Meh. Might be useful for correcting it later, though. Chasing a nightmare and counter dead space warp to location. Warp drive active. It's been a while since I've done this, but I don't recall this mission requiring me to actually shoot anything. Alright, let's approach the acceleration gate. It looks like we missed the party. Something was here, but it's faint. Take that acceleration gate. So I'm going to click activate gate. And my ship will activate the gate once it's within 2500 meters. You'll notice, of course, how much faster a micro warp drive makes these missions go because you're covering the distance a lot more quickly. Warp drive active. Another graveyard. I don't see... Wait, I'm getting something. And there's the mysterious drone. Did that just... How did it do that? What are you sitting there for? Follow it. So, the spatial rift is just a themed acceleration gate. We're going to jump through the spatial rift. With the micro warp drive, my destroyer is going at 1300 meters per second. With an afterburner, it'd only be about 530. And I am bumping into the spatial rift. There we go. Double left click. Micro warp drive. The mysterious drone that began this whole affair. Census sh show that the drone is comprised of a carbonaceous alloy not used by any of the empires. Continuously gives off a signal that on audio sounds like a mournful whale song with the chattering of insects. Meters, click activate gate. Warp drive active. I bumped on something for a moment. Spatial Rift. Uh -huh. 
and activate. Warp drive active. And nothing. I've lost the signal, whatever that thing is, it's high-tailed it out of there. That's okay, I've got enough data here, I know how to track it. With this, we should be able to pinpoint its exact location. Come on back. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete the mission. Request the next mission. Burning down the hive. Hunt down and remove all drones in the area. Now, the way the mission is scripted, you're not actually required to kill all drones in the entire mission, just all drones in the last room of the mission. It's possible to skip the first two rooms. By the way, um, assuming that you've run the advanced military tutorial, this will be the second point in the game during which you encounter an NPC warp scrambler. Won't be in this pocket though. But anyway, there's the mysterious drone. The drone has escaped through an acceleration gate. Follow it. You can kill these drogue drones if you want. None of these are the Warp Scrambler. Uh, the gate is not locked, so you can just activate the gate. And you know what? I should have Mjolnir and EMP loaded. That would be a good idea for rogue drones. And let's activate the gate. The Strain Infester Alvi. That is the thing that is capable of warp scrambling. If you're going to fight these rogue drones, prioritize the Strain first. Strain Infester Alvis have a chance to be a warp disruptor. If I said warp scrambler earlier, um, I was being sloppy with my terminology. That is not quite correct. Uh, NPCs only warp disrupt, they don't warp scramble important distinction. A warp scrambler will shut down your micro warp drive. A warp disruptor will not. NPCs only warp disrupt. You can avoid this whole mess by just going around, flying around, and getting to the front of the acceleration gate and activating it from there. But if you're going to kill these rogue drones, kill the strain first if anything is going to warp disrupt you and prevent you from escaping and cause your ship to explode because you couldn't escape, it's going to be the strain. But let's skip this mess and activate the acceleration gate.
This is the third room of the mission. We have to kill everything here. Mysterious drone. And a mysterious ship. You'll never get the secrets of the rogue drone. And it destroys the mysterious drone wreck. And it looks like I have their attention. Let's start shooting. I'm gonna pick a target within four kilometers and shoot that. My drones can run around all over the place. Something is doing a lot of damage to me. Uh, presumably the cruiser. run the afterburner so that when I try to orbit this cruiser I can actually go faster than it and I am taking armor damage and now that I'm properly orbiting it and keeping a high angular velocity I'm not taking anywhere near as much damage anymore Save this location. And let's warp back to the station. Warp drive active. Or rather, I'm warping back to my cuddle bookmark as usual. Hold down D, click the station, let go of D. the mission and this is the end of chapter four uh, this next mission is to go talk to the agent that starts chapter five uh, so I'm gonna go salvage all the wrecks that I bookmarked earlier and I will end the episode here and when we start the next episode I will already be in heck in the meantime thank you for watching